If you're looking at moving or relocating to the St. Louis area, I'm sure you're wondering, well, what's it like to live there? And most importantly, what is it going to cost you to live and work in St. Louis? Today, we're going to talk about that. Hey everyone, this is Jacob Pyshop. Welcome back to the Living St. Louis YouTube channel where we discuss everything about living and working in St. Louis. If you're here for the first time, welcome, glad to have you. Please give the video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe right down below. That really helps out the channel, helps me out, helps you out so you can learn more about St. Louis and it gives you a notification every time I post a brand new video. So without further ado, let's jump right in and talk about what it costs to live in St. Louis, Missouri. First up, and probably the biggest thing you're wondering about is housing. What is the cost of housing here in St. Louis? You'll be glad to know St. Louis is not an insanely expensive city. So what does it cost to buy a house in St. Louis? Let's look at some numbers from the last 12 months. If you see me looking down at all during this video, I'm looking at my notes where I have all my numbers written down that I want to talk about. So average home prices in St. Louis. We have St. Louis City with an average of $216,000. St. Louis County with an average of $294,000. St. Charles County with an average of $287,000. And the entire state of Missouri is at an average of $238,000. Now, how do these compare to the rest of the United States? Well, the United States average is up to $320,000 right now in 2020. Now, just to be clear, these numbers are going to change every single month based on sales that happen, but these are roughly where we're sitting at for home prices right now in 2020. And these are average values, not medians. So the average price of a home is going to be pulled a little bit higher than the median value. So hopefully what you can see from these numbers is that St. Louis is not an insanely expensive city like a lot of places on the East Coast or West Coast, for example. And because of this and St. Louis being so much more affordable than a lot of those cities, a lot of people in St. Louis own their homes and there are fewer renters in St. Louis compared to cities like New York City, LA, Seattle, or Boston, or any of those other very expensive cities. Regardless of what areas of St. Louis, whether St. Louis City, St. Louis County, or St. Charles County you're looking at moving to, your money will go further than it will in those expensive East Coast and West Coast cities that have become very expensive places to live in. We're in the Midwest, so compared to those expensive coastal cities, I'd say St. Louis is pretty dang affordable. We're ranked 83rd by the Cost of Living Index, which again, we're not near the top of that list of very expensive cities to live in. And that's one list I'm kind of glad St. Louis is not near the top of because it means we're more affordable than a lot of those other major cities. Now, if you're looking at coming to St. Louis and renting a place to live, the median two bedroom place goes for around $1,100 a month here. The median one bedroom is around $900 a month. I mean, you got some cities that are double, even triple those rates when it comes to renting. So St. Louis by comparison is not very expensive to live in whether you want to buy a home or rent. Let me tell you, I went to college in Boston. You wanna know what's expensive? Boston is an expensive place to live. I mean, when I hear about what it costs to rent an apartment in Boston nowadays, I'm like, are you serious? St. Louis is a bargain compared to living in a city like Boston. In St. Louis, you can get a two bedroom place for $1,100 a month. In Boston, $1,100 gets you nothing, unless you're looking at renting a single bedroom within a bigger apartment like a lot of students do. Renting in St. Louis gives you a lot of options. If you want to be in the city, you can rent an apartment or maybe you'd prefer a multifamily like a duplex or a fourplex. Or if you want to rent a single family house, you can do that in the city or you can go out into the suburbs. If you want to live in the county, you still have some options for apartments or maybe you want to rent a house in an area like Baldwin, Maryland Heights, Brentwood or Maplewood. Those are just some of the most common places. And in those areas, you can get a pretty decent sized house for around $2,000 a month, sometimes lower, sometimes higher, depending on how big it is and what your style is. So St. Louis is not one of those expensive cities to live in. We are very reasonable, very affordable when it comes to housing. So it really makes sense to purchase if you're gonna be in St. Louis for at least a couple of years. And I mean, especially with interest rates being so low right now, depending on your credit and your savings, it might not be a bad decision to buy if you're moving to St. Louis. But then again, if you enjoy having that flexibility, being able to go wherever you want, or maybe change houses every year or so, renting in St. Louis might not be a bad decision either. And especially if you don't know where you're going to end up in the long term and you don't wanna make that commitment, it might not be a bad decision to rent in St. Louis for a little bit before deciding to settle down and buy a house here. If you're coming here for work, I'm sure you're wondering what is the job market like in St. Louis? We have a couple big headquarters here, including Edward Jones, Monsanto, Energizer, and Centene. So those are some big employers in the area here. Some other big companies in St. Louis are Boeing, 
Barnes Jewish Hospital, Mercy Hospital, and Washington University. So those are some pretty diverse places that people in St. Louis work for. You've got your financial services, biosciences, healthcare, manufacturing. So we really have a job market that spans across multiple different sectors. As far as income goes in St. Louis, the average salary here is around $50,000, which is about the same as the rest of the United States. If you're someone who likes visuals, this map might help you out. This is a map of St. Louis based on median household income. As you can see, the lowest is gonna be the yellow areas and then it moves up towards green, and the blue areas are the highest median income parts of St. Louis. This shows all of St. Louis City over here. It's hard to see the dotted line, but these areas are the separation between the county and the city. So everything on the right side of this little sliver down here is going to be St. Louis City right here. And then you can see um, St. Louis County, Mid County, West County, North County, South County over here, and a little bit of St. Charles County over here on the other side of the river. But what this shows is St. Louis based on the median income. So if you look, um, starting off down here with the lowest income, you're gonna see these areas, and then we start moving up to see which neighborhoods have different income levels. And then as you move up here, you can have a lot more around the average income, around $50,000. And then you move up and you start to see that a lot of the higher income areas are in St. Louis County and St. Charles County with the green and the blue moving up towards $100,000 right here, all in the county. And then moving up again, you see all of this is a lot of areas in mid county and West County, $150,000 right here. And then moving up, these are all the blue areas just in mid county and really West County for the most part in St. Louis County. Again, past $200,000, these are all mid county and West County, all the way up to 250, which is those three areas right there. Next up, what I'm sure you're wondering about is food. What does it cost to eat in St. Louis? What's the food like? Food is one of my favorite things, especially in St. Louis, but it's honestly difficult to give an accurate idea of what it costs to eat in St. Louis, just because you have so many options and so many things to choose from. And really, for the most part, I think St. Louis is gonna be the same as any other major city where you have those expensive places to eat if you enjoy fine dining, and then you've got those little shops you can find where you can get a meal for a couple dollars. There's tons of diversity, you have so many options, and I really can't give you a number for the cost of eating in St. Louis because there's so many things you can choose from and it really depends on you and your style. To give you an idea of what you can get in St. Louis, you can go down to Cherokee Street in the city for some options or you can go over to the Central West End for some higher end, fancier places to eat. The Del Mar Loop has a bunch of fun places to eat like Blueberry Hill or Fitz's or you could go down the street to downtown Clayton for some high end steak houses, sushi bars, bars and grills, whatever your preference is. You could go somewhere in downtown Kirkwood like Bar Louie, lots of fun places to eat down there or if you prefer more formal high end dining, you could go try somewhere in town and country or Ladue. And if fast food's your style, you're gonna have plenty of options here in St. Louis, pretty much the same as any other major city. Whether you want some Sonic tater tots, a Chipotle burrito, or a Burger King meal, you got lots of options in St. Louis. As far as grocery shopping goes, you're gonna have your typical wholesalers in St. Louis, like Costco, Sam's Club, all of that. You're gonna have Target and Walmart as well if you prefer one of those. And for grocery stores, we have two big chains here, Deerberg's and Schnucks. Those are just two big grocery store chains that are really in the St. Louis area. So if you're not from here, you probably haven't heard of those before, but those are our grocery stores here. If you prefer something more high-end, organic kind of food, we have Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. We also have this local chain called Fresh Time. If you like Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, you're probably gonna like Fresh Time. Very similar, just a local St. Louis grocery store. And as far as the cost of working in St. Louis, so Missouri is a state with state individual tax. It goes up to 5.4%. And if you work somewhere in St. Louis City, there's an extra 1% earnings tax. Just something to be aware of if you're gonna be working in St. Louis City because that extra 1% might sneak up on you. When it comes to property taxes, the whole state of Missouri averages at around just under 1% of assessed value, which is below national average. But in the St. Louis area, property taxes are higher, averaging at around 1.2 to 1.4%, so be aware of that. I have a lot of people asking me, hey, Jacob, which areas are better than others for avoiding paying high property taxes so I can buy a house that has lower taxes? And unfortunately, it's kind of tough to break down different neighborhoods and municipalities just because it's so complicated and there's so much that goes into it. And unfortunately, there isn't just like a flat rate fee for all of St. Louis County or all of St. Louis City when it comes to property taxes. And it's pretty complicated to estimate it. Obviously, when I show people houses, I can go over the tax records with them and show them historically what the tax payment has been on that house, but I really can't tell you what it's gonna be over the next 10 years if you decide to buy that house. 
Honestly, I wish it were simpler. I wish it were easy to just stick on a flat rate for where you live because that would make things so much easier. But of course, the taxes have to be complicated. My advice, if you're looking at property taxes and you're concerned about how much you might be paying in taxes, is look at property taxes as just a factor that influences your decision in buying a home. You should be looking at other things like what do those property taxes get you? So like school district, easy access and convenience for going to work, and the amenities around you like parks, recreation, shopping, entertainment, all that kind of stuff that you look for in a new area to live in. So there you have it. This video was a basic overview of what it costs to live in St. Louis. Obviously the breakdown is gonna be different for every person in every neighborhood for what an average cost is to live in the St. Louis area. If you have any more questions or maybe you're considering a specific neighborhood or subdivision in St. Louis and you want some more details about that, I could definitely give that to you. My number is down below. So give me a call or shoot me a text. I am always available and I love helping people who are moving to and from St. Louis because I love my job. So don't ever hesitate to reach out if there's anything I can do for you, any questions you have, any concerns, I'd love to help and see what I can do for you. If you made it this far in the video, please, please do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Just go down there, smash the like button. That helps the channel out tremendously and I can't thank you enough. So that is gonna wrap up this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.